Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about teaching textbooks. We love teaching textbooks very much in our homeschool and today we're gonna to specifically talk about how the flexibility of the program has served our family well through very busy seasons and schedules. So if you're not familiar with teaching textbooks, teaching textbooks is an online digital math course. It goes from level three all the way up through pre-calculus. All of our children have used it for years in our homeschool and we there are so many components of it that we love so much. So we're gonna get into a quick overview of the program and then I'm gonna share a little bit more about how the flexibility has been so great for our family. So first, a quick overview of what teaching textbooks is. Teaching textbooks, like I said, is an online digital math course. From the moment that you start the program, you have 12 months to complete it, although there is the option to pause if you need to pause for as min a minimum of a week at a time, but you can pause longer than that. So when we have school breaks or when we're going on vacation or when I just see a busy week ahead that I don't think we'll be able to get to schoolwork, I will pause that. It's a really great feature that I love and that does not cut into your 12 months of course time. It's an amazing program because kids can be independent while also allowing parents to check in on their progress without standing over them. So this is one of the reasons that we chose teaching textbooks years ago. I needed to be able to keep up with my daughter's math. I needed to see what she needed help with or areas she was struggling in while also allowing her the independence of completing it on her own. So one of the things that I love so much about teaching textbooks is the parent grade book is the grade book because as a parent, I can go and look through the whole grade book and I can see her average, her course average, I can see her percentages for each and every lesson, but I can also open each individual lesson and see uh, if she tried the hint, I can see if she viewed the solution, I can see how many attempts she made to answer that question. And so that is very insightful for me as a parent. So on the back end, as a parent, you have a lot of control. And then on the kids' side of things, it's very fun. So like I said, as a parent, you have a lot of control. You can turn off, on or off the hint sounds, you can turn the buddy sounds on and off, you can choose if they have very simple wallpapers or animated wallpapers, you can choose if they're able to do multiple lessons a day or if they can only do one or two lessons a day. And then on the kids' end of things, it's just so much fun. They have buddies that make noises, there are hint sounds that pop up, there's fun bonus rounds, there are animations, they can use a digital scratch pad where they're able to just do all of their work right there on a tablet instead of having to use a pen and paper. It's an amazing program. So my kids have loved this for years, I've loved this for years, and with three children currently using the program with three very different learning styles, there's been a reason why teaching textbooks has served each of them very well, and I'll get into that in another video in the future. But this is just a great program for our family, um, and it has been one that I've recommended to countless friends and family. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the flexibility of the 4.0 program. So the 4.0 program can be downloaded across devices. It does not just have to be limited to a desktop computer, although you can utilize both if you'd like to, we do in our home. We have teaching textbooks downloaded on our iPad and it really is on the go. It downloads a certain number of lessons so you can be off of Wi-Fi and still be working on the complete course. You don't have to worry about certain aspects of it missing. Uh, every single thing that you'll need for that course, including the buddies and the stickers, are downloaded so you can be offline while you're working. That means for us, we can bring this in the car, we can bring this to the dance studio, we can bring this to grandma's house, which is where we bring it sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you just wanna do school in a different setting. We can bring it anywhere that we're going. And it's really convenient. All three of my kids can use it on this tablet. They can pass it around if we're in the car, like I said, or on a road trip. Um, and everything that they need is loaded in there. The other thing that I really like is if we are doing it on the go, say we are at the dance studio and I can't sit there and, um, monitor them because I'm watching my daughter dance while my son's doing math over here, I get an email, a progress email every single day to let me know what my kids did, uh, which lessons they completed, what their score was. I get that email with all of my kids' information in it. 
at the end of a day or the beginning of the next day, depending on when I check my email. So I'm able to stay updated even if I'm not personally logging on to my parent portal, which is super nice and convenient. The funny thing is with it being as flexible as it is and the ease of access being so available, they oftentimes will just grab it and do math at times that I don't realize that they're doing their math. So it's funny for me to receive those emails and see how many lessons they've done in a day or to see that they actually did do their math when I didn't think that they had. It keeps me up to date on everything that's going on and they just love being able to grab it and do their lesson and get one thing done for the day on their own without having to wait for me to come around and set it up for them so it's very convenient the ease of access is amazing with the new 4.0 program and we are big fans of the flexibility another key component that I mentioned earlier that I want to bring up again and go a little bit more in depth on is the option to pause so you do have 12 months of access to the digital course. However, that 12 months can be paused at different times for a minimum of a week. So that feature has come in handy quite often for many reasons. One, when I, we're going on a trip, uh, when we're taking a summer break and I wanna give them a couple of weeks off before we continue with math through the summer. One of the nice things about it being a 12 month course is that we're not trying to finish math by one point in the year and then supplementing for three months and then starting a new course. We have 12 months to complete the course so we can take it at our own speed and just continue all 12 months of the year and not lose focus and not lose steam with math. When I see that one of my children is struggling with a concept or just is getting a little bit burnt out on something, we will also pause in those seasons as well. So every now and then I'll notice that one of my kids needs a little bit of a math break just to get a little refresher and we'll pause for a week. And that has been a tremendous help in helping us stay the course on keeping up with math, not burning out, not needing to switch curriculum. So that pause feature is really, really important, helpful, and really serves our busy family well. Another feature that I mentioned briefly and I want to talk about a little bit more is the option to change your students' settings depending on, again, what season of life you're in or if your child is maybe a little bit more distractible right now or you're going in the car and you need them to just get math done and not be uh, playing around with the buddies and the sounds and all of that, you can change their student settings. So right now I'm in my parent portal here on the iPad. I'm looking at my third graders settings. Lesson settings, I can, as far as hints go, I can turn the regular assignments, quizzes, or animation and sound effect hints on or off. I have the option for each of those individually. I can turn second chances on or off on regular assignments. I can also choose to turn those on or off for quizzes and the scratch pad, which is like a digital scratch pad. So they just use their finger on a tablet or a stylus pen instead of using a pencil and paper. I can turn that on or off as well. So if your kid has a tendency to doodle and you just need them to get their work done, you can change that as well. You can also change whether or not each lesson needs to be completed before moving on to the next lesson, which is important. And you can choose how many lessons they can complete in a day, one, two, three, or unlimited. You can also go over to the wallpapers and stickers side of this, and you can allow all wallpapers, only simple wallpapers with no animation, or no wallpapers at all, so it will be just a simple backdrop. You can also choose to turn stickers on or off. My kids love the stickers, so that's always on. And you can customize them to something that girls may love, boys may love, or stuff that boys and girls will love. So that's a really neat feature to have access to, especially if you have multiple children in the home who are using it, you want them to just be able to get their lesson done and pass the tablet. That would be the uh, time that I would most often get in there and customize things. But I just love that those features give my kids a really great relationship with math because they want to be listening to the sounds and seeing the animations. And so that has really given them a good relationship with this curriculum and with math in general. So I generally do leave all of those on, but for various reasons throughout the year, I may have to turn them off just so we can stay on task. So as far as being flexible, one of the things that I really love about teaching textbooks is that everything is rolled up into one. So once you've downloaded 4.0 onto your tablet or onto your computer, you have everything you need to complete the course. 
from the answer keys and ebooks as a teacher. You don't need to have another teacher's manual. You don't need to open up tons of books uh, to being able to see your student's grade book, not having to keep record of that separately to the student end of things, which has all of your lectures, all of your quizzes, all of your past lessons, and all of the fun bonuses added in, including that scratch pad. Everything you need is in one location. So if you really do need to do math on the go, you're not bringing a stack of books and manuals or saying, wait till we get home so I can check my teacher guide. Everything is right there. And if you're doing math at your own dinner table, you also don't have to open up tons of manuals, which I just find so helpful as far as actually being able to complete math every day. As a homeschooling parent, I know that when it comes down to not completing something in a day, most often it is my, uh, it's because of me, because I didn't have time to pull out the right books, to check answers, and my kids are very diligent about doing their work. So it's very helpful to have everything that I need right there when they're in their program as well, as far as getting everything done truly every day. Because there's so much that I can do as a parent to customize it for each of my children, and because everything really is right there for them in one location, we have been able to keep all of our kids feeling independent with math, uh, whether or not I would have maybe felt like they were ready to be doing something independently. That has hands down been one of the best parts of teaching textbooks for our family is that I can see exactly how they're doing. I can see if they're answering something on the first attempt, if they're taking multiple attempts using a hint and viewing the solution and still getting it wrong. Uh, I can customize it, tailor it for each of my children and allow them the freedom of just picking up the tablet, doing math on their own and feeling very confident. So being able to to do things like that on the back end of things from the parent side, being able to tailor it for each of my children has given them such a great relationship with math because none of my kids have had to have mom hovering over them uh, in their most frustrated math moments and uh, pushing them where they feel like they want to just try on their own. So that's been an amazing feature and it has everything to do with the flexibility and the many options within the program that have allowed all of my kids to do math on their own, feeling very confident and independent, uh, whether or not I would have necessarily felt like they were ready for that outside of this program. So all of that being said, I wanna make you aware of one more thing and that is the free trial. So with the Teaching Textbooks free trial, I will link that in the description box down below. You can get access to the first 15 lessons for free, no credit card required, and there's no time limit on this. So you can try this at your own pace without the, um, pressure of the commitment. However, if you guys do like the program, you've done the first 15 lessons and you choose to purchase the digital course, those first 15 lessons can roll over and they can start on lesson 16 as soon as you start the course. So I will link that down below. I think that's a great option. I love that there is no pressure. You haven't entered your credit card and you aren't on a time limit. So you can truly get a feel for how the flexibility of this will work with your schedule. So. That is my recap on how teaching textbooks has served our family so well throughout busy seasons of life and with very different learning styles in our home. If you guys want more info, all the info is in the description box down below. Thank you, Teaching Textbooks, for partnering with me on today's video, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.